So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome back to Subnautica. So in this episode guys, I figured, you know what? We should probably start revamping the base a little bit. I know we've been doing that before. Allow me to explain. Whilst everything else in the game has currently quietened down, one thing that hasn't is the ability to build bases. I was taking a look at mine from a grand global view and really, it's the ugliest thing I've ever done. Look at this thing. It makes no sense whatsoever. Bruh. What is that room right there? I built this last time. I was like, yeah, this is so cool. What the freak is it trying to be? Here's the thing about my base, guys. Currently, I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense. Oh, it's the water. We've got, like, a power source right here. We've also got one at the very back of the base right there. Like, why are they so far apart? Pretty much, it was a case of, as I was finding the different resources, I was just kind of plopping them down in my base and not thinking about it anymore. But whilst the game has now quietened, this is the time I want to spend to actually reconstruct my base entirely. It was a decision between moving to a different area or keeping in the safe shallows. You know, I was finding all these good areas, but still, I think the safe shallows is just for me. And so, on to the objective. So, how this episode is going to run right here is firstly, I'm going to be heading to the two abandoned bases in Subnautica. I'm going to be scanning the different resources around there. There's still a few things I need to get in terms of base building equipment and things that are going to make my base look insanely awesome. I love how I'm too my trumpet. I might mess this up even further. However, guys, being optimistic never killed anybody. Unless, of course, you're a one-man army going to kill a hundred men. Probably killed him. I'm going to try and locate the abandoned base, which was in the cave first. A few things I haven't scanned down there. Then I want to head back over to the granaries because I think I need the platforms to flatten my base out so I can build more like that way when it's like downslope with the ground. I also need to remember to breathe between talking. I believe the cave is somewhere located around this edge right here. At least I remember it being somewhere around here. And here it is right here. So we're going to dip straight down, go to the abandoned base and see what good stuff is down there. There might not be anything. I may have scanned it all already, but it's worth definitely checking out one last time. And here it is. You see, there's all sorts of different things on this base. I think I need to scan. I can get some of the new stuff right there. Let me just check around to make sure there's no enemies. This place just gives me the creeps, you know. Also, guys, if you haven't noticed already, there is a new hood in the bottom left hand corner. Looks pretty damn cool. I'm liking it so far. What can we scan within here? What the heck was that? Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> so we can't scan this down here. Okay, that's interesting. I thought I should be able to. Okay, get back in. Whoa, whoa. And you've got the carat. Let's go. I think we have to be careful as well of these dangling things here. They can sting and hurt us. Is that giving us the ability to scan these? Wait, what was that? It said we could scan something right there. We're going to get this PDA in the meantime. So let's grab that. The Bart's toggle log. A power cell charger fragment. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, what? What have I missed all this time? Oh, shoot. I got stung by one of them things, didn't I? Whoa, whoa. There are so many. I wanted this thing here. It's like a separator of some kind. How do I get these? Dude, I don't know how to get them, but I need that. Oh, my God. They're outside snapping at the base. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. Okay, I fear for myself right now. That thing is humongous. I, I gotta get out. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Go, 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 go. In. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, we need to find another way in this place. So these things on the end right here, is this what happens if you build like a glass corridor? Does it naturally just have that on the end? Because if so, I've been worrying about finding this as a fragment for nothing. Ah, uh, I got stung again. Come on, dude. I gotta be careful. I've gotta use this as well to dash around a little bit faster because... Stupid. I got another log. Holy crud. So there is one and two. Come on. Come on, here we go. Nice and easy. One more log just there. Another one. There must be a number four right here, maybe? Dude. How many of these am I getting? Are you serious? Right now? Like, what? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. My oxygen is really... Oh, boy. Um, I can't get out. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Bear with me a second. I just picked up a shed load of these PDA logs right now. Seven new ones for the... Whoa. Dude, I've gotten so many right here. I don't want to open these in case then it, like, gets rid of the messages to say that I've got these readable, but I'm going to check out some of these in just a sec. I think the next thing I'm going to do now, because I've got most of the stuff from here, is now head over to the Grand Reef and get that last thing scanned, and then we're going to get straight back to base building and then reading these PDAs. So, ooh. No, you don't. No, you freaking don't. There's, like, four of them. Oh, come on. Look at this. They are No, no, you freaking don't. If I butt them, will they go away? Hang on, let me try this. Okay, no, dodge that, and... Okay, I completely missed. I'm right on top of him now, though. So, if I headbutt this guy, will that work? Oh, he is interested, all right. He's freaking... Let me just butt this guy. There we go. He, look, he's dashing away. Aha! That's what I gotta do, then, to get to my pieces. So, quickly does it right now. I need to... I can't scan this? Dude, I need this good stuff. I need to scan this thing. I can't scan this here. I don't have this. Or do I? Wait, I'm gonna get back in my... He, he freaking... Turned. Let me at least get back in here. So... Oh, wait, I do have the thing. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. Oh my god, come on! Jeez! I can't even repair my stuff, dude. 
The life of a subnauticarist and uh, aquariumist. It's not good, man. Everything trying to kill you and more. I can't do this life no more. What we're going to do then, guys, is we're going to head on here for a, I think it's a plant shelf. I want to get some more of those if I'm going to decorate the base properly. So I should be right in thinking they're somewhere around here. This is where you've got the grow bread with all of the different stuff, but I don't think it's this side. Wait, what's this one? Exterior? Oh, I wanted to do this as well. So I can then put stuff outside so I could get like, for example, I don't know why are they called, I've completely forgot. Like the creep vine cluster seeds, and then with that I can plant them outside. Then I can use like the, the resource where it generates power through like stuff like that. And I can grow it myself. I'm saying like so much, man. I just don't know how to explain myself. Oh, I got a spotlight. Hold up, I don't even know where I'm scanning this from, but I'm gonna scan it all right. There's another new resource. Good stuff. Hmm. The grow thing isn't in here either. So strange, I can't find it anywhere. Okay, this may be stupid, but I'm trying to take a shortcut, which in the long run might make it a long cut. Or something. Okay, so far so good. Come on, keep this going nice and easy. Okay, that was fairly successful. <gasps> oh, close. Very close. Jeez, don't just sprint over the edges, guys. So before we go doing anything crazy, I just want to try something. Let me deconstruct these first. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of floodlight number one. There's a reason why as well. So I just want to test out these, I think they're spotlights. I get how this works. So if I was to put one, let's say, on top of the base here. Let me see how this will look. Hey, okay, there we go. And... Does that? How does it work? It lights up. Ah, I see. It is a fairly bright light. We can see that doing that there. Good stuff. And this dude is pooping everywhere. Thanks, man. So here is where we now begin to change up the base at Hexen. But first, I want to do a big PDA reading session. Guys, if you do want to skip past this part, I will include a link. It's going to be about six to seven minutes of constant reading. It's going to be intense, but the lore is going to be amazing behind it. So a quick synopsis over the Degassi survivors. Basically, guys, it was another manned ship, and it also crashed on this island much alike what happened to the Aurora. It happened around about a decade just before we ended up here, so these guys made a civilization and we're pretty much learning from them. But now it's time to read these PDAs and see exactly how these guys got on and what led to their fate. We are still missing a few, for example, number three and four, but I'm still going to read through all of these and see what happened throughout. We're going to be beginning as well with Bart Toggle's log number one. This world, this is when they first got here. We've been living in this habitat a month now. I thought it might get claustrophobic. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this planet up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. Margaret has been bringing back the wildest specimens you could imagine. The fish down here, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes the length of a whole corridor section. So this is down in the cave. Okay, 99% of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way, but I've managed to coax some land plants into growing indoors and when they don't cover it, well, we eat the live specimens. It creeps me out, but it's survival. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father says we need to learn how to take advantage of the ecosystem if we're going to survive. To be honest, I'm just doing it because I enjoy it. It's not easy without proper lab and equipment. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, reveals things a spectroscopic analysis never would. Lately, I've been watching the sea snakes that live in the purple mushrooms that grow down here. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushroom. What they don't consume settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushroom which feed the herbivores and the chain continues. Co-evolution just blows my mind. So that's interesting stuff. This is when they first got here and started to learn the ecosystem. Bart Torkel log number two, stalker teeth. Okay, something happened. We've been down here two months now and we run out of enamel glass. And Margaret, here's what she does. She goes out to the kelp forest and with just a heat blade and she goes fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. No wonder she was so interested last night to know what I'd learned about them. Based on my wild theories about alien behavior, she hand fed an alien shark. She came home with a fresh cut on her forearm. Didn't say anything about it, of course, but I guess it took a couple of tries. She says once they're fed, they're harmless. She brought home all the teeth we need. On one hand, that is the most badass thing I've ever heard. And now I'm sitting in this observatory watching biters tap harmlessly at the glass. On the other hand, how many of those incredible creatures did she have to kill just to tame one? What effects are we having on the ecosystem here? If only we had an alien containment unit, I would kill to study these life forms in more detail. And that's exactly what we've got right now. Bart Toggle 3, what's left? I messed up. Badly this time. It's been two days since what happened. We never should have left the island. I shouldn't have listened to them. We shouldn't have gone to sleep. We're not wanted down here. They don't trust us. I knew it and I didn't say. I could see it and they couldn't. And now they are stuck down there and I'm up here, alone. I deserve this. 
Wait, so what happened? So this is in conjunction with something crazy. I think this might relate to the precursors because he's saying like, it's been two days since what happened. Not being specific. Or it might be the incident where the base down below got destroyed. We'll find out. We're also going to reread through the ones we've read before just to keep on track with all the events. It won't work, Chief. There's nothing left of the Degassi. No building materials on this island. And my nose tells me the weather is turning. We're going to have to get our feet wet. This island is safe. There are no predators. We can grow food. Why would we abandon it? Your kid says we can't grow enough. Not without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's... It's true. The natural growth rates are too slow to support three of us indefinitely, especially if the weather gets worse. All I'm saying is, Ocean's got us surrounded. No use hiding. I've made my decision. You two want to forfeit your commissions just to take a swim? Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Degassi voice log 2. Storm. Bart, I said no! Your life is worth more than your vegetable patch. I forbid you to go out there in this storm. I stopped needing your permission when the ship you were captaining sunk. You will stop needing my permission the day I'm not your father. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds out there of 40 tons of stormwater? Or how to conjure food from the air? Don't try to be clever. No one likes a clever mercenary. I'm just saying, what's your boy's life worth to you today if next week we're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like? Let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart Toggle is no longer aboard the habitat. Interfere with my family again and when rescue arrives, I'll leave you here. You understand me? No rescue coming, chief. Not in time. And no staying here neither. The rain keeps falling and sooner or later this place will be buried. Only choice we've got is whether we'll be buried with it. Stay away from my boy. Something happened between 3 and 4. Not too sure yet. We'll find those logs very soon though. Degassi voice log 5. Curious discovery. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the mud. Part of another ship? Nothing I've seen. It's not even scratched. Don't touch it. It could be valuable. Stand down chief. I'm just looking. If it were going to crumble to dust it would have done so when I first picked it up. This is the purple artifact we pick up when we go into i get it i get it it's glowing it's still powered we're not the first people to come to this planet people maybe could be aliens could be the damn sea monsters just one way to find out degassi voice log six deeper we're already more than 200 meters below sea level you want to go deeper? We've been here a couple of months now, Chief. Look around us. I see water leaking through the hole. Water outside the hatch. Water above me. Water below me. We're drowning. Real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down is going to do it again and again until it shuts off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would an off switch be any more likely to be half a kilometer down? It's a hunch. You're mad. I'm going. And I have an idea you two are going to follow. If you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. So that is Margaret pretty much saying that she's no longer going to be listening to him. Degassi voice log 7. My lady. Stop it, both of you. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Yeah. The suit biometrics would have warned us. It's something new. Spit it out then. Are we going to throw up our bodies? Dissolve into slime? What? I don't know. If I can isolate the bacteria in our blood, then I could test its effects on our live specimens. And if it turns them inside out, you got a fix for that? Not this time, no. You have my full faith, son. So this is when they first contracted the Quran. Now we know that for sure. But what happened next? Degassi voice log 8. Risk taking. Margaret Maida has boarded the habitat. What are you so happy about, Maida? Say, kid, I brought you something. Is that a leviathan? Towed it home on the back of the sub. You killed it? It's still breathing. Was about to finish the job. Pass me that hardened knife. Are you out of your mind? You brought that thing here? What if others come? You rather it got curious and came here on its own record or got messed up and dragged here? When we get off this plant, so I'm going to drag you through every court in the damn empire. Damn, they brought a... Okay, that makes more sense now. So they brought a leviathan into the damn base. And of course, the disaster struck right after. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid needs specimens for his research, and I'm the one bringing them home. But tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong, Margaret. I can't find out how these creatures resist the bacteria if you kill them all or pump them full of transfuser serums. They don't often oblige in coming in alive. What do you expect? Don't speak to him like that. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. We have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. No now while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart Toggle has left the habitat. Bart, it's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I know you can hear me. Chief, Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace. This is where things get super interesting though, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this reading segment. I know I've got Paul Toggle's log right here, but I've only got one part. 
Should we check it out anyway? Let's do it. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, a kilometer east of here, and she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. The family operates nine different mining colonies across the Aidney Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn tell whether it's the stupidest idea ever or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me yet. Stuck here? There's no swapping out my liver when the old one fails. Down here, I'm mortal. Made it is useful to me. So it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island to home whatever not the Degassi out of the sky won't do the same to a rescue ship, or take us deeper into search of answers, and all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium here to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here, but I was right to order the detour. When we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgal Core. Share price on the other side of the Fed. Federation. So that was a humongous reading session right there. You can see all the different problems that we're amassing. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that though. It really did give me a great outlook on what happened to the Degassi survivors, or should I say the Degassi deceased by now. Unfortunately, they all died. Bat was the only one remaining, but even he succumbed to something. So here comes the really difficult bit deconstructing almost all of this space and getting things moved around. I didn't realize how long it would take to read through all the stuff, so I'm going to do a little bit for this episode, guys. Now, I think for the next one, we'll finish building the base entirely. So I'm going to have to start by taking all of the things out. My, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm already out of space in my inventory. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to store it all inside of the Cyclops for now, whilst we're just moving everything around, because it's the only way I've got this much storage to put stuff in. All of you can go... Wait, these are all useless. Let's put all of my survival equipment in this way. I need the habitat builder to be able to destroy stuff. God damn. Um, I'm gonna run out of space. I'm gonna have to build some more stuff right now, some storage units. Much better. So let's continually fill these lockers with all the goodies. I honestly don't think we're... I, well, I think we're gonna need more. Get rid of the window. Then we're gonna get downstairs. Then we'll deconstruct the ladder as well. All right, there's that one gone. There's another room completely free now. So this part of the base is completely clear. Let's clear this one out. I do have a fabricator aboard the Cyclops, so I'm okay to get rid of this one right here. Now, for the fish, I think what we can actually do is simply pop these guys in our inventory. Yeah, we can put these in our back pocket. We'll take you, we'll take you, we'll take you, and we'll take you. Let's deconstruct this right now as well. By the way, those mushrooms, they look freaking awesome. They gave me a great idea in terms of what I'm going to do when I next get an alien containment facility. I'm going to build, like, room on top of room with different aquariums inside, and we're going to put themes all around each of the rooms to make it look super awesome. I think that will look really cool. Let's get rid of this guy as well. And why? Why? My gosh, this looks so weird. I'm removing what once was and now isn't. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. I want to go back to how it was before, man. What have I done? What the hell have I done? Um, yeah, we got to finish quickly. Let's go. All right. Yeah, we got a problem. We got to get rid of this quickly and get the heck out. We've got oxygen, yeah, but this base is about to implode. I'm serious right now. And here we go. It's all downhill from here. The base is officially imploding. So that's just an empty room and the base is flooding. Oh, goodness. Hold up. I got to get out. I got to get out a sec. Let me deconstruct the moon pool right here. Come up, off you go. Here we go. Now we can start to remove the rest of the base. Starting with this thing here. We still can't deconstruct this thing. I don't really understand why. Let me head inside a sec. Hey, what's wrong with this? There's nothing in here at all, other than like the breaks and cracks. Dude, I think I'm gonna have to move the base just so it looks nicer, you know? Because it's a bit barren at the moment. It's just gonna look messy with random parts everywhere. And everything has now been deconstructed. I honestly think the can't deconstruct thing is to do with the way the basement is maybe being placed, or the base, should I say. Maybe because it's slightly embedded into the ground and that is no longer a feature. The game just does, like doesn't understand. Maybe it thinks something's inside the base. So, not really 100% sure, but I guess this means we have no choice but to move right now. I am not sure where I'm gonna move to, guys, but I have all of my base supplies. Actually, wait, I have my prawn suit still. I need to, um, where's my prawn suit? I just realized this whole time, I don't even know where my prawn suit is. Wasn't docked or anything. We'll find it in due time, guys, but for now, this is what was home, and I think what I'm gonna do is at least build a multi-purpose room, and we'll just get a small base started. Now, I don't want to move too far, because I think the safe shallows are a really, really cool zone. Let me just see, where's the nearest kelp forest? Because they're always really handy to have nearby. Aha, okay. So right here might be a super awesome place to start building a base. In fact, I think this would be really cool. And we have this right here. There's something in the game where you can use like the heat sources for energy. Thanks for reminding me. I know I'm gonna die soon. So now I'm gonna take a look at things from an idea standpoint, all right? Here's the kelp forest right here. Loads of stuff we can sustain from there. I think I might start the base down here so I can almost build back and higher up. I think that might be really cool. Let's just freaking do this. So let's start with adding a foundation. 
Are you really going to do that? Wow, okay. Okay, man. Okay. Yeah, you're freaking welcome as well, huh? And so it begins. The first part of many, there is our beginning foundation. And right, we'll get a second one in here. Let's keep this as uniform as we can too. Just like so. A nice little snapping ability as well. Okay, I can see this working. Okay then, guys, so I figured I'd make at least a small start on the base. There's a load that we've got to do for the next episode, and I've got some awesome ideas in terms of how we're going to do this. As you can see right now, I've built two exterior grow beds. Why am I moving backwards? I've planted them also with creep vine cluster seeds, or should I say creep vines in general. Then what I'm going to do is build the bioreactor straight away get power in this base and then we can get building extravagantly get the moon pool in place and then things i'm sure will just slot in perfectly after that let's go inside the base and just check out the interior as well and i mean hey if things don't work so well we can always make it work that way so i put some of these different living walls in here just for some show i think i'm definitely going to be building a lot more on this base i've got some great ideas and it's going to be a heck ton of fun getting this thing in shape but there we go anyway guys hopefully you did enjoy this episode of subnautica this one has been crazy this has been my longest recording session in a while for this game too just deconstructing and everything like that took so long. But we're here now, and I'm glad that we can finally get building on this base and get it looking freaking awesome. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.